Hey guys, what's going on? Sit Neck here for a new MC Mod Gen tutorial. And what we're going over today is how to create custom tools. This is very, very important to most people, and it was one of my most asked features before I had it in the program already. And it's kind of important. So let's get to it. It's really, really easy. There's a lot of fields here. Probably, I think it's the most of any other form this far. So don't be intimidated. We'll get it. Tool name. This is what Minecraft's going to reference your tool and what people are going to see. So if I insert biscuit here, which is what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to call it my for. I can't have spaces, actually. So I'm going to call it biscuit. Biscuit sounds good. Oops. I spelled biscuit wrong. Biscuit. There we go. So we're going to call our tool name Biscuit. Let's bring up the help here. You can read this on the screen here, or you can be actually in the program. The tool name and is what the player will see and what Minecraft uses. So make it something nice and delicious. So that's it. That's pretty easy. Tool strength. This is how fast it's going to break blocks. The higher it is, the faster it will break blocks. Will break. I believe... Uh... I don't remember exactly what diamond was, but you know, we'll just set this to like eight or so. I don't remember exactly. That's gonna be in the help later. Tool damage is how much it's gonna do to mobs. Um, I think swords do higher damage. I know swords do higher damage. But let's just go ahead and do it to um, twelve. It's doing pretty high. Tool use is just how many times the tool can be used. Before it breaks, I think iron gets 300 and something, and diamond gets like 2,000, you know, maybe 1,500 something, but I don't really remember. So let's give this one like 3 so we can see it break. Material. This is very important. This is what you're going to be used to craft it. Let's go ahead and bring this down and select mod MC mod gen underscore 1.255 underscore tutorial dot. That is the prefix, and that will be for a custom item or block in our mod. So we're going to do M underscore my first item. Very easy. This is the tool ID. These are the IDs that the tool is going to use for um, referencing Minecraft or whenever you want to spawn them in if you're using an inventory editor. Let's go ahead and just set this. Now, okay, here's an important thing about this. Let me open this up just so you guys see it. It's going to use the next, like, five numbers after it. So, if you select or four numbers after this one, because there's five tools. Because if you select, um, let's say you get the ID 2000, it's also going to select... It's also going to be using the IDs 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005. No, just 2004. Because, yeah. This is five tools. And it's just going to automatically do that for you, so you only have to insert it once. I wanted to cut down the amount of fields, and that was the best way to do it, I thought. So, let's go ahead and use just 1,539. Let's make something weird. These are the textures, and I'm just going to keep it simple. This is going to be the same as it was before. The name, if you want to put it under a subfolder, I could do like tools slash ho. Actually, you need to have a slash. No, you don't. You don't. Sorry. I messed up with my own program here. So I'm just going to do ho.png, swo.png, pick.png, axe.png, and show.png. No space to special characters in those fields, but it's very easy. And we're going to hit add tool set. See, that wasn't so bad. We have actually already created our first tool set. These are going to be biscuit tools. Very delicious. So we're getting very close to getting all this stuff done. And you guys, if you're following along, then great. If you're not, I recommend just go back to the beginning of these tutorials and watch them again. You'll get it. It's a little difficult at first. It's not the easiest thing in the world. My program is probably as easy as I could make it right now. There are some things I could add to it, but... It's really almost as easy as I can break it, but that does not mean it's actually easy. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you've been able to learn something. And I hope you'll stick around for the next tutorial. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.